Hi, I'm Jeff Nicholas, and this show is welcome. I would like to welcome you to this show, Discover Your Creativity. And um, this is my 20th show. They, I don't know how people do so many shows, but <laughs> it took a lot for me to get to 20. And for my 20th one, I thought we'd do something special. I have a special guest with me, and I'm going to introduce her in just a second. I wanted to um, come up, the theme today is eyes. I, I always find eyes being so expressive and so important in a drawing. And I, I looked up 10 facts about eyes that you may not know, but I just learned them. Uh, and I thought I'd share them with you, and then we'll get right into Josie here and talk about some of her artwork. One thing I found out was that dogs can't see the difference between green and red, which I guess means Christmas is kind of dull to them. An ostrich eye is bigger than its brain, and uh, I didn't know that until I found that out. Uh, worms have no eyes at all, so I guess when they get put on the hook and didn't see it coming, that's why. Um, 10,000 years ago, all humans had brown eyes. Uh, other colored eyes mutated later on in history. I learned that blue-eyed people share a common ancestor with every other blue-eyed person around the world. And I have blue eyes, so I have a lot of cousins out there, apparently. <laughs> um, you blink over four million times a year. And every time I say that, I get a few extra blinks in because my brain thinks that it has to blink. Sitting too close to the TV will not give you square eyes, so my mom was wrong. Hamsters can only blink one eye at a time, so I guess that means hamsters do a lot of winking. Um, most birds can see over a hundred more shades of color than we can. And um, an average life, in, within your average lifespan, you will see over 24 million different images, which means you've seen an image once, that, doesn't count when you see it again. Over 24 million images. That's pretty amazing. And what we're going to do today is look at what I call the, the mind's eye. That, I guess you would call that your third eye. If you like to do art and you're an artist, you use your mind's eye to do a lot of drawing and painting and such. And it's where you look at what you're about to paint or draw, and you draw it or paint it as you think you see it, as your imagination gets involved with what you saw. And that's why I asked Josie to come on today. Jo Josephine Homine. 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 <laughs> I've known her for two years and I always do that. Um, she's an eighth grade student and I work with some eighth graders over at the middle school a couple days a week. And we've known each other for a couple years and this talent of hers just emerged out of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and to watch her do what she does. And when you see some of her artwork, you'll be amazed. Um, how long have you been doing this? Um, well, I've always had an interest in art since I was probably six, mm -hmm. and um, I'm creating people and animals. I've been doing this for almost a year now. Wow. So. Yeah, and, and you, since you were around six years old. Mm -hmm. But to watch what she's done within the last years is really pretty amazing. Have you ever taken any drawing lessons? No, I have not. Um, there's been times where I've gone on YouTube and I would look up how to draw an eye or, a, or maybe a nose, but watching someone else do it and then me trying to um, copy what they're doing it does not help me, so I have developed my own technique. Cool, yeah. Um, and, and I met your art teacher actually about a mm -hmm. half hour ago, and, and she had a lot of praise for you as well. And, Thank and you. She seemed to be a pretty good art teacher. She yeah. is. Miss Wallen's yeah. very nice. Good, good. Where do your ideas come from? Um, my ideas, they, uh, just what I see in the world, what I, what I hear on the news, um, what goes on in my life, it just, it, and what I feel in my heart, uh -huh. it's what, what helps me. So. Very cool. Yeah, so when, when you do your work, we're actually seeing something that you've been thinking mm -hmm. about or something you felt, and it shows up in your work. It yes, does. very yeah, much. Yeah. Uh, what's the hardest part of drawing for you? <laughs> well, the hardest part of drawing for me would... Um, just not the drawing itself, but coming up with the amazing idea that everyone can relate to. Yes. Because I want my yeah. artwork to be something where others can relate to and be like, when I look at this, I actually feel something, so. Yeah, well when I do my artwork, I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time for me to go, aha, this is what I meant to, because right. I, I write stories with mine. This is what I meant to say, this is what I meant to draw, but you're right, it's, a, it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, like, I like how you draw because you draw as you see. Mm -hmm. a and um, as you see someone, what, when you look at a person's face, I know you have some 
pictures of, of people uh, that you've drawn. Um, what, what's the first thing you notice on their face? Their eyes. <laughs> this is why I call their this the eyes. eyes. Yeah. Yes, their eyes are the main thing. Um, actually, I sometimes catch myself when I'm speaking to someone. I'll see myself saying, like, I'll look at all the details and I'll say to myself, hmm, when I go home tonight, maybe I'll try to draw these details I see Very and add cool. into a new. Um, piece of work. So very cool. And being an eighth grader, I'm walking through the middle school and seeing kids all over the place. They spend so much time looking down at their devices. Yeah. <laughs> and Josie's refreshing. She makes eye contact, mm -hmm. uh, which is exciting for someone who's 60. That says, I remember when people used to look up when they talked to you. Right. This is so nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, how long does a typical sketch take you? Um. Well, it depends. Like if I am doing something very detailed. It takes me about an two hours, but um, a typical sketch, um, something simple, probably 35 minutes. Good. So I actually have some if you. Yeah, I'm right, if you, Bob, I had one more question for you. Then oh, I want yes. you to show some of your stuff. Um, um, are, are, you, are the art something you're going to pursue when you get out of school? Definitely, definitely. Um, I've realized that art is something that it, it's. It's something that I want to, yeah, definitely pursue in the future. It's my life, basically. I can explain it. When I come home from school, I, like, I get my house clean, and mm -hmm. then I am um, painting or drawing. Like, and then I'll, yeah, it's just it's something I love. So. <laughs> yeah, good for you. And, and yeah. what is it you get from drawing and painting? What's it do for you? Um, I what I get from is. I feel very peaceful and open-minded mm -hmm. and I tend to think about other things a little bit more and um, it just I, it makes me feel very, very calm. So Good. it's like an escape. And you know, well, the word escape, so many people, it's so important to get mm -hmm. your mind back and you get yourself grounded. And right. You're so, that, that, this is a tremendous choice to make as a, as a mechanism. Sure, sure. Yeah, I want to see some of your work. Yes, and I know they course. do too. <clears throat> this one, um, when I first started drawing, this is my best friend Megan. She's the one that actually inspired me to start drawing. Um, and it, it's, I love this picture. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, this one right here is my dad. Uh, this is one of the second one of the second people I've ever drawn in my life. Um, so <laughs> my dad, I actually have it hanging up in my room. And whenever my dad comes into my room, he tries not to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it shows that interpretive mm -hmm. part I'm telling you about because you've emphasized yeah. the smile and the kindness in his eyes. Yes, yeah. my dad's yeah. a very awesome person. Yes, he is. This one um, is a cat. I um, did this in art, actually. And um, it was part of a project and um, I really enjoyed uh, drawing this. It was actually my first time drawing an animal, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm not the greatest, but it did take me some time and I finished. Let me ask you, why, can you hold that back? We'll get back on that again. This one? The, yeah, just right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. The, the texture, how do you do that? Um, well, it takes, well, one thing is I get really close, like mm -hmm. I'm like eye to eye with my artwork. And the texture, I guess it's just, I take, I take a lot of time on it and I put in the little details I see. And do you so. smear with like a th your thumb or do you use? Yes, I, um, um, this, I did not do any shading on it okay. um, besides a little bit on the oh, eyes. Oh right, we have one coming up. Yes. Yeah, let's show that one next. This yeah. one is probably one of the best I've done. And this one I've done a, actually, a lot of shading on it. Um, here's an eye. Wait, yeah, there's the eye I've done That's on backwards, it. That's backwards, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and this one is the one that took me close to an hour. And um, as you can see, I did a lot of shading and um, the texture on the eye. Um, I wanted to make sure you can capture the eye perfectly. When you look at it, it's you're seeing a story behind the person. Yeah, what the reflection in the eye is so cool. Is it something in particular or is it just the way you saw light in it's your the, mind? It's the it's the way I saw the light hitting the eye. Like Very cool. the um, the thing about art is besides the, the way um, you shade is also which I'm go going to demonstrate that. Mm -hmm. Um it's 
basically where is the eye so you always want to point out like before you start your picture where is the light hitting mm -hmm. and that's basically that's some techniques yeah. that i yeah. use so very cool very mm -hmm. good did you want to demonstrate yeah the of course okay, great great okay so over here i have um actually right up in the right corner i already have an eye that i created the other night um and <laughs> over here, I'm going to show you some of my shading techniques. Um, so this person um, is looking directly at you, and what they're seeing is they're seeing a person. So what I like to do when I'm drawing an eye, I like to start with the inner part of the eye first, and then, um, and then I'll take some of the pencil, like some of the shading over here, and rub it into the, my whole entire work. So I like, to, I like, like I said, I like to start with the middle of the eye. So I'll go in and. You know what's cool is you're using just a typical, like a number, what six yeah. pencil. It's not something. Uh, I, you know, I, I know that you can buy all sorts of things, but you don't need them. You, mm -hmm. you can do things with just the simple, soft lead of a pencil. I mm -hmm. do have tons of drawing pencils at mm -hmm. my house. Um, I don't have any with me right now, so I'm just using a regular pencil. But yeah, definitely, you can use a regular. So now I have the person in my eye so far. So now I, what I like to do is go in and start to shade in the eye. And then I'll go back and darken it up. And um, I do that about three times before I move on to my next um, step. So I'll do that again. Now, um, I also like to add in a background just to show the details. Oh, and um, make sure before I continue, the light um, is... The, the, how the light's hitting the person is, um, I, I don't like to make, say it like it's a, um, like it's a light coming from an angle, but maybe straight on, but it's not a bright light. So that's why it's not, my picture won't end up looking too bright. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to see too much of the details um, of the person, you know, in the eye. Um, so as I'm adding in my background, I... Like I said, I like to go over and um, doing a, an eye like this, especially a bigger eye, um, when I'm just like doing it on my own time, probably takes me about, uh, let's say maybe 15 minutes. And then the shading itself takes me about five to 10. So it, it's, it is work. I mean, it's nothing too simple unless you really take your time on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, we. People forget what an important tool the eraser is. Yeah. Like, yeah. People always think, oh, the, you don't really need the eraser that much when you're drawing at night. It's like, or like when you're drawing in general. Right. It's like actually the eraser is a huge part of our of our they actually make certain type of erasers that's uh -huh. meant for drawing yeah so have you ever used a kneaded eraser the ones that you can change the shape of them so they can get into See, small areas i don't um i don't think i have i don't have one I'll of those i'll grab one for you because i'm sure you would enjoy it yeah. <laughs> thank you um i want one badly <laughs> those are pretty awesome yeah. i mean they really help yeah i think it's because the stigma of the eraser means a mistake and it's just the opposite it, it really is a tool you're right mm -hmm. yeah as I now now this is a problem I tend to that tends to happen to me when I'm drawing an eye um, when I shade I tend to get darker streaks that just does not blend in well with my artwork so that's when I love the eraser I like to go in and maybe those rougher lines go and smooth out and then Sometimes you're left with a brighter line, so then you go back in with, um, like, with the other dark areas and, you know, just rub it in, and then you're, you're off, you're good. So, <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's basically what's what I do. And 
Um, there's a thing about art that I like to tell people because when I'm sitting down in class and I'm, you know, I'm creating mm -hmm. a project of mine, um, one thing they, they say to me is, Josie, I really messed up on this piece of artwork. I really messed up. And I look at them and I say, you can never mess up in art. You know, art yeah. is something that you create. It's something that comes from your eyes and your heart. And unless you're, um, unless you're um, doing something like, if you just say you're trying to draw a horse and you mess up on drawing its head, that's one thing. But if you're just doing something on your own and you say, oh, I messed up on the eye. It's like, no, mm -hmm. no, just keep going, you know, just go yeah. with what you feel. And if you mess up, then just go back and fix it. And you know, it just art is something that I believe comes from anybody can be an artist. Anybody. Mm -hmm. It yeah. doesn't have to be someone who can draw a person perfectly. Anybody can be an artist. Yeah. I, when I do my cartooning classes, I always, or, or when I do my shows, I always say there's no such thing as a mistake. That's right. rule number one in cartooning because it usually makes it better. There's mm -hmm. a way to play around with it to, to make it better. Yeah. Well, good for you. Thank yeah. you. Um, now, when I get to this point, now, as you see, I'm starting to get a little bit of um, the details in my eye. Um, if you right along this area, um, if you notice certain, like people, we have those water lines. And I like to make sure I show my water line if it's a close-up image. So what I like to do is I'll make a dark just right around here, mm -hmm. and then I'll go back in with the eraser. And I'll very lightly, not as fast as I'm going right now, <laughs> but like uh, kind of show that water line just a little bit. Very cool. Yeah. And then right up here. See, I, I, what I like to say, it's all about the shading. That's all it is. It's all about the shading and how, how you erase certain parts. Because if you notice, basically all I've been doing is shading, right? And it's turning out pretty good, I think. <laughs> So. Yeah, this is not easy to do when you're trying to explain what you're doing as you do it. Yeah. In, in your own home, you wouldn't be talking to yourself about no. what you're doing, so it's a little bit of a challenge. Right, of course. But I'm glad I could be here and yeah, explain. Yeah, you're doing great. I know. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> you're, much. You're welcome. I'm trying. <laughs> hey, while she's concentrating on that, I do I, a couple other things that I, just to brag about Josie a little bit. I've known her for a few <laughs> years. She's also very talented in, in uh, all the arts. and. Um, I know that you would like to pursue theater a little bit, mm -hmm. and, and um, you also have uh, an interest in, in music, and, and uh, we were just talking about a musical taste yesterday, and, and um, I, I think she was born in 1955 because she's into a lot of the <laughs> people that I enjoy, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Oh, that's getting there. Thank good, you. Good, good. And I know as you draw light reflecting off of an eye, um, sometimes you, you take into effect at indoor, outdoor. Um, yeah. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It definitely does. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's fun for me to have somebody on with me for a change and honestly uh, and I'd love to have Josie come back again but I would offer to there are so many talented students here at Wadsworth that if you would like to ever come on and, and, and show what you do and um, I thought Josie's a great person to have on because I, I know she's very um, uh, has a very nice vocabulary and she speaks to people very well and I know she'd be very good at this um, but I'm looking at a uh, in the future, I'd like to have Josie back on, and if anybody else would like to, just as I have to, just let me know. I know my uh, my uh, website. It, well, there it is. There. Uh, how did I do that? Yeah, it's right there. So, um, <laughs> if, if you would like to contact me, um, I would be more than happy to have you on. It, it doesn't have to be art. It could be. I mean, it could be a musical line or something like that. I just uh, I taught for 35 years, and I've worked up here at the middle school after I retired from Highland. For another three and I've just met so many talented uh, students and I'd, I'd love to see them uh, get the opportunity to, to show Wadsworth and other places what they're capable of doing. Um, 
Okay, so this is as far as I've gone so far. Um, of course, drawing an eye like this one up here, um, and the one I have shown um, already, it does take me a little bit more time, but this is just to give an example of just a little bit of what I go through and what it takes. Yeah, and I can see where you would have put the light here. Whoops, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to move. I'm, I'm wired. I forgot. No, you're <laughs> the fine. light here, right there, right, is where you would end right. up putting the, yes, yeah. yeah I gotta be careful. I forgot. I'm right. hooked up to a transmitter. So, um, <laughs> that's basically um, all I'll show you right now. Um, I don't want to take up too much time. Oh, you've done it. That's a wonderful <laughs> job you've done. Thank yeah. you. And we get to show all the artwork. That, oh, there was one other one. Yes. That you, you just completed. Oh, yes. Um, Where is it? Right here, oh, actually. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I knew you had something else. I, I just, and this is the perfect day for this. Yeah. Uh, today, we're, as we're filming this, it's like 60 mile an hour winds outside, and, and, and the leaves have become uh, weapons the way they're blowing through the, through the sky. But I wanted you to see this that she did. This one um, is a fall theme. Um, I, um, in art, uh, my teacher, Miss Swollen, um, wanted me to do this oil pastel project, so I did. Um, I chose to do a bunch of leaves um, together. And if you can, if you didn't already know, these are water drops. <laughs> um, and um, it is a bunch of leaves like on a like on water, and this is like some of the water on it. Um, it's one of my favorites, and. Um, oil pastels are probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, I enjoy it very much. <laughs> um, yeah. Oil pastel is also, it's a little bit different than like crayons or chalk oil pastel. Um, basically, I don't know how to explain the texture, if you know how to explain the texture of oil pastel. I don't get to use them very often. You could probably they're, do a better job than I would. Um, what, basically what you do is they're meant to be um, layered on each other. So. Um, I, so I would take a yellow oil pastel, um, color it in, then I would take an orange one, color it in, and then see it starts to blend the colors, like this mm -hmm. right here. So then eventually some colors st start to stick through. Now for the rain job, I actually cannot get my white to stick out very much, so I actually took white paint and um, I had to like dab it on there just a little bit just so I could show um, the texture of the rain job. But yeah, that's um, my fall theme. It's very cool. And I've, I only took a few art lessons, but I remember being told that you, you don't stay in one spot too long when you're doing painting. Mm -hmm. You have to see the whole picture as you work and right. move from place right. to place. So it does have what you've got, the texture, the flow, the colors come together. Mm -hmm. um, if you get too detail-oriented, uh, th then it becomes, uh, plus I think you get discouraged that way. Right. I, and I, I know the way, just by the way you think, this works real well with you because you can kind of segue from one spot to the next yes, successfully. I, yeah. I love it. Yes. Like actually, um, funny, funny story. Um, this was my first leaf I started working on was um, this course and this main one right here, mm -hmm. and then this was my second one, and then I moved all the way over here, started on that one. <laughs> Good, yeah. And then these ones I just added in, so it's just a matter of um, where you want to go, yeah, and where you want to start off. Well, I'm sure your art teacher is proud of you too. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Well, you did a beautiful job. I'll tell you what. How old are you? I'm um, 14. 14 years old. I think when I was 14, I would have never walked into a place like this, let alone <laughs> start talking to people, let alone show off my artwork like this. I'm very impressed. I'm sure the people that got to watch this are very impressed Thank as you. well. And you, I, you will come back and do this uh, something. Yes, of As course. the year goes on and you're getting more projects going, I'd mm -hmm. love to have you come back and show some more things. I enjoy it. This is my first time, so. <laughs> you wouldn't know it. You're a natural. Thank well, you. Very good. Thank well, you. thanks for watching, and uh, thanks again, Josie. Josephine. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you're famous, what are we going to call you, Josie or Josephine? Um, I don't know. I think that's a good question or something to think about just don't change your name completely i, I won't know it's you good good maybe yeah. i'll have, probably have people call me either one so <laughs> yeah that's good well it was so nice to have you on thank it's you. nice that everybody got a chance to see you and thanks so much and uh we'll see you next time